Hey there guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. In the previous episode, we went after the Sand Baryoth. In this episode, we're going after another subspecies, the Azurathalos. The weapon I'm using is one that I'm not actually supposed to have at this point in the game. At least it is the first form of the Ancient Shard Gun Lance. It's pretty cool, it looks like some sort of weird pyramid thing or an obelisk or something. That's actually what it's called, the obelisk. It is a Dragon Gun Lance because that is Azurathalos' biggest weakness, if I remember correctly. So that's what I shall be using to put this beastie down for good. However, it is still completely unupgraded, so it's... I don't think it's gonna be that overpowered. I don't think we're gonna kill this thing as fast as we did with the uh, Sand Baryoth. I mean, jeez, that was really fast. Anyway, Psycho Serums, bring them for every Rathalos mission, because that bastard moves around a lot. Also, he has no given starting location, so you have to find him first. That's also a problem. So this time, he is in Area 8. And it's good to hunt in the deserted island yet again, because we haven't really gone here all that often in the uh, previous couple hunts. I think the last one was the Plesioth. Anyway, Psycho Serum's worn off. I hope he's still in Area 8, but knowing my luck, he's just not gonna be. Yep, knew it. Uh, let's see. Well, I have plenty of Psycho Serums where those came from. Okay, Area 5. I can probably get there in time. Just run, just run, and then jump off the cliff. Doesn't appear like he's moving, so that's good. Yep, there he is. The Azure Rathalos. Basically a Rathalos that's blue and green. And I must say, I really, really like this color scheme. It just works. It just looks good. I mean, they put this monster on the cover of the game for a reason, I think. Probably because it's such a good-looking beastie. And we'll tank those. Now, as far as the moves go, I'm pretty sure the Azure Rathalos it has virtually no differences from the regular one. I think he has like a biting move that he does when he's flying, which has fire coming out of it, giving an extra range. But I guess I'll go into that more when we actually see him do it, oh crap. Of course, he's still got the ultra-fast charges and everything else that makes the Rathalos a semi-tough monster to fight. So yeah, maybe he just has a damage boost or something. And apparently he likes to stay in the air more, which sucks because Rathalos just loves to be up in the air already. Oh crap, stun. Come on, get out, get out. There we go. Now, I could have brought the uh, Great Roggy armor because the Azure Rathalos does still have poison, but I figured, eh. The Rathalos don't really use their poison moves all that often. I mean, you can get poisoned from the Talon attacks only, and they don't do them all that much. Unlike the Rathian and the goddamn tail swings, oh crap. Just when I say he doesn't do it that often. Luckily, I still bring Antidote. Damn it, just let me use my... Oh, it I did, did work. Right then. Come on, get down already. Yep, he definitely loves to stay in the air. Oh, well, I can still get hits in, I think. Yep, poke... Oh, nice. Broke his face. Yeah, breakable parts... Exactly the same as the regular Rathalos. The, <clears throat> the uh, claws on the wings, the head, and you can cut the tail off. So one of the four is down already, and of course he still has that incredibly cheap combo, where we refer to stun you with a roar, and then do the jumping back fireball thing. So yeah, that is still in his arsenal, and it's still pissing me off. And I reload my crazy Egyptian pointy thing, and just poke him over and over. This gun lance also makes pretty cool sounds whenever you reload it. It's like really different from the usual sounds. Not sure if you can actually hear it over the commentary and the Rathalos going berserk, but yeah, you should probably pay some attention to it, see if you can hear it. Pretty sure you, it also plays whenever you unsheath the weapon though. So it should be pretty common. Oh crap. Almost got hit by that. Wait, why is he... Why is there pink smoke coming off of him? Uh, 
Is that from the paintball? Pretty sure it's not from the- oh crap. Don't think that's from the paintball. Uh, oh wait, maybe Kayamba did that with his kitty mask. I think he's using felvine bombs on it or something. But yeah, I just noticed another change in Azurathalos' moveset. Regular Rathalos, whenever he does the flying charge, he pretty much always lands. But Ancient Rathalos just turns around mid-air and pretty much follows it up with different attacks. So he is indeed a more, oh crap, aerial-based fighter than the regular one. Here, have some poop. Yeah, he didn't like that. Now he's got pink and brown coming off of him. Is he making a run for it or is he just going to bombard me from above? No, he's making a run for it. Alright. Where does he go? Two, three, seven, eight. Pretty much the Rathalos' regular range. You could also find Azure Rathalos in the Misty Peaks. And his color scheme works even better there because that's such a colorful area to begin with. Alright, let's have at him. I really, really do fancy the colors. The blue and green, it just works. I mean, the red and black of the regular one. Oh, nice. There go. There goes the left wing. Nice. Oh, and there goes the right wing, thanks to either Chacha or Kayamba. I'm not really sure who did it. I mean, Kayamba was right next to it, but Chacha's, I saw Chacha's boomerang flying by, so that could have also been the cause. So let's just say it was a team effort. Oh, careful. All I need to do now is get the tail off. Which is the most important part to cut off in a Rathalos, because that's where the rare drops come from. The plates, the rubies, the mantles. So yeah, if you don't cut the tail off, you're not going to get those. Oh, nice. Perfect opportunity to get some damage in. Of course, then I do need to hit said tail. Which I did not really do that much. Did not take advantage of the moment that well. Oh, well. Oh, crap. Turning around, huh? Don't think so. Oh, nice. Awesome. Of course, I can't get to the tail now. That's a problem. Yep. Of course not. Eh, wouldn't be Monster Hunter if the game wasn't playing against me at every possible opportunity. Because the game does not want you getting lucky. Nope, block the tail swing. Ooh, I'm definitely getting a lot of staggers and knockdowns. So perhaps could he be close to death already? I'm pretty sure the Obelisk isn't that overpowered against him. Okay, that just clearly overshot me. Crappy aim, Rathalos. Block that. Oh, how I love the blocking weapons. I mean, clearly... Oh. Okay, he's too tired to use his fire. That's good. You know, they could have, like, given him Rathian's big-ass exploding fireball as an improvement. That would probably be pretty cool. I do find it kind of strange how... The Rathian seems to be the only one that can do that, of the two of them. You'd think the male one would be stronger and thus also able to breathe more fire, but apparently it's the complete opposite. Then again, isn't it so in a couple of, in pretty much most other species of animals that the females are generally bigger and stronger or something? Well, the Rathian isn't really bigger than the Rathalos. I think the Rathalos does have a couple meters on the Rathian. But the Rathian definitely, well, the fire is definitely stronger. The poison is clearly more potent. But the Rathalos pretty much dominates everything else. Anyway, I guess we're doing pretty good so far. We're nine minutes in? Yeah. Not quite ten yet. Oh, here he comes. Heading straight for the Aptonoth. And kill it. Alright, let's see, can we get something fancy from the shiny? Where is the... There's the shiny. Alright, oh crap. Somehow I passed right underneath the tail. Oh, that was not what I was going for. I wanted to get the tail off, not stagger him. Eh, well. It'll still work out just fine. He'll still die. We still won't get killed because I've already gone quite good at the game. Come on, shiny. Wyvern's here, that sucks. Oh, yep, he's still tired. He's tripping after his charge, he's now really good. Definitely gonna set a pretty good time here, I think. 
Oh, he still can't do the fireballs. Wonder when that's gonna come back to him. Jeez, he's keeping him stun locked. And again, wow, he must be really close to dropping that already. Oh, damn it. Chacha, help me. Oh, crap, he's got the fire back, I think. Or maybe is it that the jumping fireball never goes away? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I did not mean... Oh, I can still extinguish the flames. Works for me. Oh, nice, nice opportunity. Come on, Tail. There we go. Oh, shit. You will not take my pickaxe, you stupid cat. It's mine. And I will likely have need for it. Oh, he's limping away. Scale plus. That's... The Wyvern Tear? Well, you can have the Wyvern Tear. I care not about Wyvern Tears. Alright, he will probably go back to 8 now. Or 7. Works for me as well. It's not that much of a walk. Yep, 7. Alright, if that's where you want to die, then that's where you will die. I'm happy to oblige. Now, touch down. Alright, notice me. Or just start the tail swing immediately. Damn it. Got hit by the freaking stub. Ooh, lunged right into that one. Oh, crap. Oh, have to be careful now. Don't want to get killed. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll admit, he got lucky with those fireballs. Either that or I wasn't really paying that much attention to what the hell he was doing. Alright, fire's out. That's nice. God damn it. I just always fall for that move. I hate it so... Oh, and it is Kayamba chucking bombs all over the place. Yes, that comes with the kitty... Oh, jeez. Kitty mask. Oh, yeah, sure. Go after Cha-Cha. He doesn't really care. Oh, okay. Going to 8. I guess we won't finish the fight in here after all. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the paintball vanishing because it's pretty much guaranteed that it'll go to 8 now. I mean, limping, tired, close to death, you will go to 8. That's where the nest is. Alright. Put the... No crap. I did not mean to shoot that. Put the weapon away. Also an weapon hammer there. I'm not really sure why that's always there. Alright. Ah, crap. He's not sleeping yet. Oh, well. Guess we're not going to get a fancy wither and fire finish this time either. Just like with the bloody sand barrier off. But first... Oh, okay, he's limping in between... Oh, nice. Saved Kayamba there. Limping in between attacks now as well, I see. Oh, crap. No, you will not knock me down. Because then I will stagger you and I will kill the bug at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Oh, and we're done. Well, the finish on that kind of sucked. Oh, well. Let's see, what stuff can we get from him? Hopefully better than the tail carve, because that was the absolute worst. If you carve a scale from the tail, then you're just out of luck. Not even a tail, or not even a ruby, or a plate, or whatever. Anyway, you get a scale, a wing, and I've, I missed what the other thing was. I think a carapace, or something, or a shell. I don't know. Slowly walking, because I don't want the bug poking me in the ass. And... We shall prance now, because we killed the Azurathalos. In pretty good time, I must say, like 13 minutes, not bad. Oh, damn it, bug. I will not kill you, though. You may live. Oh no, he stung me, now I'm sad. That shield design kind of reminds me of the freaking Millennium Puzzle from Yu-Gi-Oh. Hell, the entire weapon seems to have kind of that atmosphere to it. The ancient Egyptian thingamajiggy. Anyway, that went pretty well. Ah, oh, jeez, rewards are crap again. Not even anything rare. Oh, well. Talisman shit, as always. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later with more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And other LPs. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.